we start our Speed7 Studio software. And how you see here, this is the Speed7 Studio over you. This is user friendly. And with this software, in my mind, you can work very intuitive. How you see here in the middle, we have a new project, open project, import project. As I mentioned before, I want to show you that we bring the motor to rotate in three steps. The first step is to import the demo project in the Speed7 Studio. Here we need to import the project. I click on this, appears our window and you choose your project file. Here under your install driver, where are the Speed7 Studio? In my case, are the driver C and under program X86, double click and under FIPA, Speed7 Studio, public, you find here demo project and also for Mubicon, but we need the demo project. Here you find also another protocol, also demo project that you can use. We click on simple motion and here you find all simple motion demo project. We use now the first one, the GF500 with our CEO, I mark, and say here open it. After that I confirm it with the import button. How you see now the import from this install driver in our Speed7 Studio. This takes also a few seconds because these are many blocks inside there and they need also a lot of resources. Uh, you see here also the bar fill up and now uh, you see import of the project data completed and successfully. We can confirm it with done. Now they open this demo project with the simple motion blocks. How you see here demo, demo simple motion V1000 underline Modbus RTO. The V1000 are the predecessor from the GL500, but the simple motion blocks exactly the same what we use also now. Okay, now we have opened the project. You see two kinds of VLCs, 015 and 013. I have here my 013. Here on the left side under the project tree, project tree I open now the PLC program. PLC blocks with all simple motion blocks what are here programmed for you okay I can close it that was the first step the second step now is to bring my laptop with the new PLC in the same IP range and here I use my Ethernet cable RJ45 and my laptop have the IP address 10.0.0.100. So, we need here on the top to click on device properties, accessible partners, and here appears our window. We select here our network card. In my case, I have the ASIC USB to Ethernet adapter and automatically here they recognize also my IP range. I search now in my application, in my network, all components via Ethernet and they find our PLC with the MAC address and 4 times 0. I mark this 4 times 0 and change the communication settings. For instance, for, for 10.0.0.30 and say here set the IP address. Automatically, they put this temporary IP address to our CEO PLC and we search again the network. We see also here the green light in this part. Now it's finished. I mark again this IP address and apply these settings in my hardware configuration. The configuration has been applied. Very nice. After that, I can close this window. I can close also the device properties I click on my CLIO PLC and I check if these IP addresses are applied. 
10 to 0 to 0 to 30. It's applied. Very nice. After that, I save the project and compile. Okay. We don't have an error. How you see here the output. After that, go to my project on the left side, mark my PLC2, right mouse click, and transfer all this project in the PLC. I check again my IP address, it's the same range, very nice, and I can make the first time a test connection. Okay, it was successful. After that, I transfer the project. You see the first instruction to check the SD card, and the transfer completed without errors. Everything is green, also not warnings, very nice. Now I can close. So, okay, now that was the second step. The third step now is to set the values in our initialization block and to control it so that we can bring the motor to rotate with the simple motion blocks. That means I go back to my laptop I go here to my watch table, what are prepared, and I click here A1 on length V1000. As I mentioned before, the V1000 are the predecessor, but it's full compatible with the GA500. I cl click it and you find here a lot of variables. Okay, because this is too much, I can sort all these variables. And you see here the headlights. The first of one, what we need are the initialization block. Also, with the Speed7 Studio software, it's also possible to pick it up and to make it a full screen. How you see here. We go online, first of all. I go on the top, under code, status value. You see here also a green line. And you see here on the bottom a red LED. That means our PLC are in stop. That's absolutely right. And how you see the CPU are stop, and I bring it to run. And automatically you see a green light here. Okay, now we are online to our PLC and also we are connect and online. So now we need to set the values. We start here with the init hardware. We use here the Speed 7 CPU, not a communication processor. Number two, 1F hex means 31 decimal. This is the slave address. Here we can the init uh, load address we can ignore. We have here 6000 is equal 60 hertz, the maximum velocity. We have here init error if we have something. And also we can select here hertz or rotation minute. We have zero for hertz and also the initialization user unit acceleration. We have here zero for zero to zero one seconds. Okay, all this I control now with this button, right in control. The first time come always this message because if you are in application and you control something, maybe something happened on your application, it's a warning. You, in our case, we can ignore it and we say here, don't show the message again. I have checked and say here, yes. After that, automatically, you see all our values are available on our PLC. The initialization is executed, very nice, and the initialization is also done without error. If we have an error, we get here the error bit and also here a initialization error ID. This ID, uh, then we can check in the manual what they need. Okay, now the initialization is done. Now we control our motor. So we have controlled the shock velocity with 5000 digits and also a shock acceleration 5 seconds and also shock deceleration 5 seconds. That means the 5000 tickets are equal with 50 Hertz. The access are ready and enabled. So I mark now the chalk positive for the rotation and control it from 0 to 1. 
in five seconds you have the maximum for 50 hertz so and how you see here 50 hertz and the motor rotate and the instruction comes from our SLEO 013 PLC with the simple motion blocks.